T, T, T. Okay, guys, how's it going? Uh, unscheduled live, uh, simply because I'm looking in my kingdom chat and I'm seeing other YouTubers coming in there. Like, oh, let me look in here, look at the stats. I don't, I don't know what Keychain's thinking. Uh, proper way to, you know, do this would have been to contact me directly. Uh, my last communication with that team was Dark Mystic was going to try to convince Keychain to do that. Uh, it never did happen. So I was assuming that Keychain kind of make down of that. Uh, you see it on my screen here. Error message from Facebook. Man, all week from all programs, uh, guys, you, you may have seen it yourself. Uh, my wife had this happen where somebody's tried to hack into her. Every single social platform they're running brute force on, uh, just worldwide, everything. <laughs> Damn, we're going to start this coughing early, aren't we? Okay, so, ah, uh, hold on here. I was trying to get my Samsung to launch because we're going to talk about merger... That isn't happening. It's not a merger from what, what I'm reading. Uh, after the Uncharted Seas event, they're going to have a mechanism in place to where you as an individual can move. And that makes much more sense than a merger. I mean, I, I stated, what, five months ago, six months ago, seven months ago, eight months ago, every time the rumor came around about mergers, I'm like, you cannot turn around and expect people to move as a unit when they were randomly thrown together to begin with. It's it's not reasonable. That's looking at people like they're poker chips and you're going to decide where they're getting shuffled around the board. Uh, and it, it's, it, it wasn't a good business strategy. I can tell you that in the last three months, uh, Fun Pluses or GOG Studio, everything – there seems to be a better business implementation taking place here to where there might even be some concern whether or not you're enjoying yourself for the money you spent. Uh, the, that is, you know what, guys, I can't see my screen, so if anybody's talking, uh, please join the Discord, RogersRaiders.com Discord. And what is going on with my game? Not... There's that. Like a deep to link. Just uncooperative. My studio software got updated. I'll tell you, the Streamlabs is like the king in this stuff for the for the streaming software, but they've got no qualms just updating your your system because you opened it. It's very internet based. You think it's on your computer and it's not. All the settings are on their server. Uh, that way, if you don't pay them their hundred and ninety dollars, you know, next year, they just turn off your settings because it's a remote contact to settings. It's technically illegal. Uh, the you can't force a, a lifetime subscription, which is what that basically is. Well, right now I can't. Here's a good question. Actually, I don't know if the third monitor is even hooked up. Trying to pull up the Guns of Glory stuff. All right, so go into the Discord. I can't see anything on... I, oh, I haven't turned on the damn... Hold on. Show you guys what I got to do every time. That I hadn't done yet, right? I'm already live. Uh, upcoming. Oh, think, and with the selected, I want to delete. I understand. 
I had to click it twice. Uh, I'm having a problem with my NBENC codec. Uh, we're having lots of drivers problems. The world is trying to uh, shut the United States out of crypto. Uh, the the blue collar worker has too much power in this country. Uh, they don't know it. You you wouldn't know it by the way anybody talks about Americans, but the American wealth, the wealthiest nation in the world, those those little blurps that people put out, that's you working a fifteen dollar an hour job. You're you're wealthy by world standards. You are a you you are a mogul by world standards. Uh, best class of living on on average. I mean, who doesn't have you know we used to we used to say what back it was like. Okay, show me the house without a VCR. You know, <laughs> they, it was like less than 2% at one point back when that was what we used to do. So I got to get in here and we got to turn on the monetization. All right. And go here. Uh, afternoon. Oh, wow. We got bunches of people right out here off the bat. So, all right. So now I can see my chat here, guys. Sorry. Uh, What's the movement thing about? Okay. Alan J, how you doing today? Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're catching the first part of the video. Uh, okay, I'm going to remember it off the top of my head now. Uh, but after the Uncharted Seas, they put a little blurb in the game that says after that little area that none of us read. <laughs> I've talked about it many times where they when they, when they brought me into the, the developer program, it was the right content for that. Only it was garbage, so I, I, I said, I'm not lying to people in the meantime. the uh, Jim, how's it going? Man, I hope you caught the other day. A uh, bunch of you guys that have been subscribers and supporters for a long period of time. I did a little shout-out video for, you know, at the beginning of the video for you guys. Uh, Google is just now telling me how long you've been... Because time flies for me. I I have no concept of time anymore. Uh, I do not wear a watch, have not worn a watch since I retired in 1997. The uh, So there's that. <laughs> That's how long I haven't worn a watch. Uh, and, and the weird thing is, I'm never late, but my wife constantly is, has a freaking one of them high dollar android watches has her phone with her everywhere she's late all the freaking time but she was born in new mexico the uh no concept of time on her part either but in a bad way she can't get anything done quickly the uh you know hey we want to go watch a movie in 40 minutes the uh it takes 45 minutes to get there the uh Cowboy Clipper, what's going on, man? Big B, oh my gosh, look at this. We got a whole bunch of people. So, uh, I, I got to put this out at the beginning of the lives because we, we always get off track into other stuff to talk about. Uh, the, and I got to, the, but, so, in your news section up there, it tells you that after the event, people are going to be able to pick their castles up and move them. There's going to be a mechanism. All right. So what does that mean? It means the movement's individual, which I'm fine with. The, uh, uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this live, and I want to put this out for begin with, is Kingdom 592 is not a place to be moving to unless a group, unless you've got four or five people from your kingdom that are wanting to do it as a cluster. Guys, I rarely talk to the kingdom, despite all the rumors and bullshit. I only have to step in and shut down what is being completely blown off the rails. <clears throat> I mean, in, during this Uncharted Seas event alone, I got all of Kingdom 591 now repeating back to me the trolls mantra that we've gone through for a year in this kingdom. And I got people who are mad and upset because I just, I'm not 
an ass kisser. Uh, the standoff point in Kingdom 592 with me and everybody else is I demanded they ask before they, they think I'm just going to go over and blow $1,000 on their KVK. The, uh, I got asked this KVK yesterday. You know when I got asked? After they lost the first few fights. Are you going to come help us in KVK? No. I don't do after the fact. I don't do final thought. I prepare for KVKs. Uh, that being said, I told you guys before that Kingdom 5, I mean, last year I said the Kingdom 592 is my last kingdom. Uh, and I built Kingdom 592 for the purposes of myself in YouTube and other YouTubers. We don't know there, Jim. Uh, doubtful that it's one time only. Uh, that wouldn't make sense because they're probably going to charge us for it. Jim's asking if we, uh, is, is it going to be a one time only on the, on the deal? Uh, let me tell you, Jen, Jen, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I observed. Okay. And I pointed it out and I could probably go to the video that I dropped October 8th. You know, when I look at, you, you're looking at this graph chart right now, the ups and downs and things like that. Uh, let's do that. Hold on. That way I can show you what I observe. See, I don't have to ask questions or have you click a poll or anything like that. Just for me talking and rambling and changing subjects all the time, people back things up and watch it again. And more importantly, uh, where's it at? That's this one. Analytics. Let's go down here. Okay. So this is a good insider for the for the other YouTubers, right? So here is an hour-long video. Uh, the at the end of this video, I'm barely I'm down to I'm, I get all the way down to 22% at the last few minutes. But I can tell you right now, there's not a YouTuber, gaming YouTuber out there right now looking at this chart. And this is just my last video that's that's live, that they're not jealous as shit of. The, uh, and it's very simple. Don't try to be phony advertising with these people, with, with your audience. Uh, be one-on-one on them. But what I wanted to talk about was, and they brought me some new tools in here. This peak here and this peak here. Okay. People link to their friends or their coworkers. If it's a studio watching my videos highlights of things they think they need to address and this is where i get to gleam whether or not you know right around the 15 minute mark I, then, and I don't even know what i was talking about then right i'll come back in the next week and go okay uh and then i'll go in there i got a whole bunch of other stuff that'll tell me what device did it what application they were doing the linking where the sharing came from i combine all that data and then i can tell you how many employees over at fun plus were forced to watch my video. Okay, so I'm not out of the loop with what goes on behind closed doors because it's a modern world and there's tracking information on everything. See you, Jen. Yeah, there's no closed caption on the live. Uh, but Jen, Jen, before you take off, the uh, the what they're doing is... is the number of people who have been that stuck with Guns of Glory that played for free basically represented most of the game. And the number of people who wanted to play the combat strategy game that we downloaded wound up being very few people in every kingdom. Uh, everybody else is just wanting to be next to somebody that's big and famous or hide behind them. It's and I was just showing you how I'm pulling out the data on this stuff. But thank you, Jen. Uh, the, uh, so that's, it's not just a matter of a chance to change the kingdom, but it's a chance to change the strategy of it up and hopefully make a more entertaining value for guys like me. You know, uh, if we can go into, and I put this out in the video that we put over in the Discord channel, you know, 
using the score pictures, videos that I can link up in there. Uh, the uh, We can hold more of a two-way conversation in real time. I uh, can't do that during via YouTube. It's just not possible. Uh, the I would say that before I started saying, I'm moving to Kingdom XXX, there are some things to consider. Okay? So, like I told you before, I, 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 I had lots of offers to go to Kingdom 33 uh, and other places. I mean, lots of you guys have offered me homes in your kingdom uh, that you, you want there. You want the filming there. And I, I, But here's the thing. Not everybody wants filming there. The, 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 I have to take that into a thought account the, uh, that, you know, just because five guys want me to come play in their kingdom doesn't mean 100 guys want me to come play in their kingdom. Uh, because what comes with it is a bunch of stuff you don't know about. I mean, there, there's just crap that piles on with me. Uh, and first and foremost, there are people who eat because I do what I do. And, you know, there, there's people who get paid. They, they buy their kids clothes and, and, and send them to school. And I can't put that at risk. I can't put... I don't have kids. I'm retired. But at the same time, if I blow this up, reality is I'm going to have to fire them. The, uh, so there's, there's a lot of precaution that, that has to be done there. Uh, for those that were thinking like, man, I'm going to go to Kingdom 592 and me and my four buddies. That's not a bad plan to have a kingdom. I'm not saying 592 is the right thing. But it's not a bad plan to have a kingdom where four from this kingdom and five from this kingdom. And, and yes, us being the most promoted kingdom in the history of GOG uh, makes us a rendezvous point, I think, for the fours and fives here and there. But I want to caution everybody about thinking they're going to come and go, well, we're going to come and Gummy's going to run. I'm not. I'm not, going to, I'm not running anything. Uh Running an alliance is damn near a full-time job. Uh, my problems in the last year is every time I've had to pull back from setting the alliance on the path and then I exit leaving the leadership behind, when the leadership gets busy, they don't do what I did. They don't turn it over to somebody else to keep the wheels on the bus. <clears throat> because most people log in for five minutes get their dailies done and log off. And I was having a problem with my R4s and R5s being those people. And that is a leaderless alliance, okay? Uh, I wasn't even in it at the time. I was off in my <laughs> alliance of one, me and a test castle. That's all I was for like I, three months I did that while I built a firewall. Uh, that's the reality of how I have to use my time. And so it, it's... It's one of those things that with this coming, it's tip at expectations. 592 can be a rendezvous point, but then you're going to have to deal with my trolls, and they're some of the worst in the game. You, you need to remember, last year, for a month, I promoted a kingdom buildup and invited every troll in the game to come in there. And they're here. They're, they're, they're terrible. They're, they're here. They're, in, they're, they're running bot systems. They're in 20 kingdoms. The, uh, and... There was some manipulation of us meeting the same group with a different kingdom number for about six months. The, uh, so that they could pass resources back and forth during during a, events where you can do that. Uh, you know. I We were talking about this, and I, I got a video that hadn't dropped yet. I got two videos in the schedule. So they may seem out of context when they drop. Uh, I got one dropping this Tuesday, and I got one dropping the next, uh, the following Tuesday, and they're both about an hour, uh, because one of them I went over all the questions in the score. I'm gonna try and get that done at least once a month. Uh, this, this live wasn't planned, but <laughs> need a. Need, need a tape recorder on hand to repeat everything 100 million times. Yeah, that's, but that's that's my problem, right? Well, and we explained this in the video that hadn't dropped. 
the uh, you, you need to understand that I understand my business, no matter how much the little kid on TV who, who was like, I had a YouTube channel, so I know everything you know. No, you don't. 99.99999 to infinity don't have a clue what I know about how to manipulate marketing. This is one of the smaller markets. I pull out the numbers. We're doing this over in the idle tools channel, uh, you know, and they're, there I'm dealing with, you know, there I came in as the new YouTuber and uh, I've got more cooperation with guys with uh, with a million subscribers than I got with guys with, you know, 2,000 subscribers here that I'm trying to help while I've got traffic for them. Uh, you know, it's, it's weird. So the, you know, over, over there, like in the crypto thing, uh, I man, I'm not prepared to show that stuff because on, on my my finance stuff, I gotta gotta be careful putting that stuff on film. But I noticed that my so my crypto exchange they're filming. Matter of fact, I got a video on Idle Tools where I showed this. It shows that I I've, I've traded two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the last three months. That's how much money I've traded according to them technically true and i as a youtuber could cut and edit that number and say look how cool i am i spent a quarter million dollars in the last three months i did not i spent 250 dollars turned it into 500 turned that into 3000 and then i've been taking 500 dollars a month in profit off of it for other projects but in the course of making that three thousand dollars the totals traded is close to a quarter million dollars in the last three months. The uh, that's that's it's volume. Um, so there's ways for people, and I see other YouTubers pointing at that number and going, "Oh, and look, I'm up to my fifty thousand dollars that I made this month." Well, mine says I made a quarter million, but I'm not I'm not shopping for Lamborghinis yet. The uh, I'm shopping for a Bronco. Actually, I got a, I got an order on a Bronco. The uh, I'm shopping for a Bronco that's eighty thousand dollars and it ain't, ain't close to paid for yet. Uh, I don't even know if I will get my Bronco before June of next year. That's how long. That's how bad the chip shortage is. So, yeah, we we don't know if it'll be multiples. Uh, I can only assume there's going to be restrictions on going to newer, younger kingdoms. Uh, honestly, if they built an influencer program into this and turned around and let us float our castles into a kingdom uh, to where we were not allowed to participate in loss events with with like with something like my big cat, like a reporter, so that but I, I would be allowed to join an alliance and see what they see and how they see it and then while we're we can do some one-on-one -on -one education in there and put you know you, you spend a week making a 10-minute video uh it, it's a lot of work yeah if you're, if you're doing it right that's why i've you've heard me harping on this several lives now i need the other youtubers to put that week in it Oh yeah, I told you that. I, I would, yeah. That news, that news. They, they. Okay, so yeah. I, well, first of all, I didn't read anywhere that it said some kingdoms will be locked out. So you're reading from a Discord room, there, General. Uh you cannot trust an ounce of information. That's one of the reasons I keep telling everybody it's not here yet, so I'm not going to comment on it yet. But I do want you to prep your thinking about trying to build, because the goal is going to wind up being build a cool KVK team, right? Uh, that's going to be the goal. Well, so why aren't you going to Kingdom 33? Well, I'll tell you why. They've got a KVK team. They don't need you. Uh, I haven't seen anybody... Well, I, I say that. Now, now, 
Kingdom 33 guys have invited me to Kingdom 33, but I think it's so that they get more video time. I, they, they don't need me as a team member. Uh, I don't have enough castle to play at that level. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I want a new Bronco, not another $800 a month freaking GOG bill. Uh, somebody asked me the question in Discord. No, they asked me on YouTube. Uh, man, I'm spending 400 bucks a month and my stats suck. I would say he's probably in a newer kingdom. Uh, <laughs> they also posted that uh, we are a bunch of racists from the official page there, General Patton. Okay, there are 43 people who control the official Fun Plus Facebook page. Only one of them and the the program, the marketing program that that controls that information getting put up there, is the same one that says lie to everybody, don't don't admit anything. So you, you, until it actually happens, it doesn't exist in this game. That that's not just rule of thumb. That's a reality. The reason everybody else has gotten burned on a rumor. The uh, remember VIP thirteen. I think that's the one rumor I said, okay, I'm going to start buying VIP stuff until, you know, so that when VIP 13 comes out, I'm ready. I quit buying it two months ago. The uh, VIP 13 is a rumor. The, uh, it, it's, is what it is. Uh, Fun Plus uses the Tom Sawyer method of marketing. They get other people to paint their fence, and they call it lots of fun. Uh, and then they use communistic-style control mechanism to, to control what information is being fed into that drip. This way, they don't ever have to take the blame for what's not working. That's just the way it works. Uh, it's, yeah, the, but yeah, we're, with people that are wanting to, uh, I, I I just want to tamp down the I I show up to a KVK only if there's a team leader that is not playing the the game over there. I see I I, I got problems in five nine two. I got the Russian lady who will let anybody into her alliance when it's her turn to be the queen, but she doesn't go anywhere when it's somebody else's turn. Uh, the, uh, I'm not stopping my people from going. I, I don't like that. If you're saying that in your kingdom, you don't want to play with that person. It's all one way. It's just, it, it's, it's marketing and bullshit about it not being one way. The, uh, kingdom 592 right now doesn't have enough players or troop volume to engage in a long KVK combat day. They don't even have the type of player. That can engage in that uh and i mean i've got strong players that played with me for years and we made sure and they they'll remember some of this you know admiral skippy i don't want admiral skippy engaged in combat he's not big enough to recover i had to stop my other r4s and r5s from like well he's bigger than us and you don't have any troops because of your way of doing it uh right now i had me and Admiral Skippy with troops for a long time to protect people with during no loss events. And I had leaders that kept butting heads with me and like, I, I can't have everybody at zero. Uh, once that happens, nothing happens during event and then everybody quits, uh, which was the excuse why everybody started quitting when we slowed down. Uh, GOG put a lull in this game starting in March up until up until the uncharted seas actually launched that's hard to recover from uh they are advertising i've been trying to capture the uh ad on my phone when it comes up because I, I i see the guns of glory ad come up from other games i'm going to capture that and put that out because if you hadn't seen that guns of glory ad it's hilarious nothing like the game we play zero uh it, it's just a movie That's what should have happened, General. Uh, yeah.
yeah, that's what should have happened. Now, that should have happened in, in most kingdoms. It should have happened at the start of the event so that research got maxed out. Yeah, that has good enough. Man, you understand that the egos, there is a group who have their own private discord, and line chats, and all this other stuff, and they play, they, they run botting systems, and they play the long game. They think they're going to play Guns of Glory forever, and they put a bot on a new castle in a new kingdom, and then they rotate in every fourth day and stir shit up, uh, get people fighting, blah, 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 and then then pop in and see what kind of advantage they can take from it. Uh, it was the where we stair-stepped when I tried to build I went off and built my own alliance in Kingdom 312 when I decided I was going to, when in 3, 312 I decided you know what, I'm going to pursue the YouTube thing and I, I went out and built my own because I didn't want the foul mouthing crap artists the very people who have chased me from 312 to 362 to uh 533 to 4 uh, 592 uh all those people and even they pop in during some of the 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 interim kingdoms where i did some small build-up castles those kind of trolls that have that have chased me for four years that's why we did a call out like all right guys i'm going to throw money at this thing and you're never going to have power over me uh, the the only thing that gets them any movement upwards on me in power is me not playing. The uh, and that's kind of where I'm at now. Uh, what needs to be done next is some tools that will help an Uncharted Seas event, which is some rally tools. Uh, because you've got to be able to plan it. I would say. Over on the forums, because they're open, over in Rogers Raiders. Uh, another thing I want to, uh, well, okay. So go over on the forums, or you can do it in the Discord room. You know, uh, Rogers Raiders, that's Discord. Uh, mine's open. I will just, I'm already booting out trolls, so that means you won't be dealing with many of those. RogersRaiders.com slash Discord. Uh, okay, so in there, if you want to discuss cross-kingdom get-togethers, that's probably a good place to do that. Uh, the And I would say before you pull the trigger, a lot more than, oh, man, that sounds great, better be on the table. Uh, the... It is like I said, I don't want to for this next year, I'm not I don't want to be doing the how to build your new castle videos. I've done those. They're the pit the video may be dated, but they work. Uh I'm still getting people in brand new kingdoms going, Man, I've watched hours and hours and hours of you and I'm already ahead of the game of everybody in this kingdom. And they've taken some things away and they've added some things to the to the new kingdoms. But the the work is there. Uh, so as we get new players who need new information, it will become a little easier to come into the score and say, man, how do I do X? And I may not have keyword tuned or the keywords have changed because the trolls in the marketing at Fun Plus keep trying to put keywords that are so common to get accidental players. They think that's how marketing's done. And that's not how marketing's done. There is no merch, parents. There's no merch. What they're offering now in text in the game, uh, which has some liabilities to it. That's the only reason I'm reporting that to you. I don't care what to say on Facebook. The official Guns of Glory Facebook page isn't official nothing. Yeah, wait, wait to wait, hurry up and wait, that kind of stuff. So, 
like I said, so but everybody's going to start talking, right? Now that the rumor's out there and it's it's a possibility, each of the individuals is probably going to have to pay for their own move. Who knows how much that's going to be? They could be charging a hundred dollars if you want to switch kingdoms. <clears throat> the uh, you're going to get players that aren't going to pay that. And and the the Germans are a in and out play. To, I've noticed in every place that I've been to, Germans are in and out. Uh, they swap castles. They swap castle ownerships back and forth. An original owner of a castle will come back after a month or two. Uh, they are a pump and surge where they do a swap system uh, so that you're always building the same castle when somebody's got money to play. They play on that castle. The, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. The, uh, but the Dutch are like my largest advertising dollar. I get more money from the Dutch than I get from English speaking. I, and that's something to think about, Clarence. You know, not just language, but time zones. Right, to have Americans wind up in a kingdom together. Uh, helps. Uh, you're not going to change KVK start time, but if everybody that ha you know if if you had a bunch of Americans who are always at the disadvantage of KVK because of start time in the same kingdom, the then what you would have is three or four hundred people who <clears throat> want to play KVK. A hundred people who might be up first thing in the morning, right, for at 3 a.m., but then as people trickle in, you can swap out and rotate if you're going to run a single alliance thing, or you may have enough people that you can have two or three alliances doing two or three things at a time. Uh, and since we've all seen the Uncharted Seas event now, the <clears throat> for those who don't know, if you missed on my other videos, Yeah, it, any of Guns of Glory's time frame stuff is going to screw you there, Alan. Uh, always has. The uh, There's no good... I thought you went to watch football, Jim. <laughs> I'm paying attention, you guys. All right. The... Uh, yeah, time zones. Here's a bad thing. Okay, now I've talked about this in the video that's going to drop on Tuesday, so I'll go in a little more in depth in this. Kids are going back to college. That means kids are getting college grants. And this has been true for 20 years. This is not related directly to Guns of Glory, but it is prevalently true in Guns of Glory. Kids go to college and blow their money that's supposed to be on rent and food on beer and games. And then they don't have enough money to go back. And then they sometimes fail out where they can't even get their grants reissued for semester two because their grades are so low. Uh, I have a feeling that a bunch of colleges are going to be pencil whipping some grades to make sure the federal grant dollars keep keep flowing. You know, you don't want people flunking out. You want you want want to make sure you're at maximum capacity. Yeah, grants drop classes. The uh, yeah, that it's so you're gonna get a pump, and then January's coming. All right, so this is one of these things where I warn everybody about me not being present. Don't let them other guys somewhere somehow tell everybody how I've I've quit and run away and I'm scared blah blah blah. Uh, there's nothing in here that scares me at this point. Uh, I could go into any kingdom, be zeroed out. Don't care that I'm zeroed out. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's only a few hundred dollars to put my troops back. Uh, but I don't have to do that. Somebody would have to pay to come zero me out here, and even then 
I've got defenses again. It's it would cost even the biggest players a thousand bucks to zero me. The uh, you know you're not doing it for free. So either somebody's getting free stuff from GOG to do it, or somebody I've never talked to is so emotionally unstable that they spend a hundred dollars with GOG Kingdom transfers to spend a thousand dollars to zero me out, which accomplishes what I, I i don't even know what you would get from that uh i think i've proven over the years you're not going to run me off uh the castle isn't built for that uh we stick we stick for the reasons of sticking the uh well that happens every every year uh uh i bet you anything we get a three percent increase on government checks even though, I don't know about you guys, but my bills are up 58%. The the news is underestimating inflation a bunch. But they're counting cars in the inflation number, right? The price of a new car. Well, you can't sell a new car because there's no computer chips to build one. That's why I've got to wait till next June to get a Bronco. So the price of cars can't go up because you can't sell them. You don't even know what your market demand is. Uh, I remember that during the World of Warcraft days, people refinanced their house to uh, to buy gold from China for World of Warcraft. The just so they can be Uber in World of Warcraft. It's higher than that. Gas is up more than double. That's where I wish people would use more deductive reasoning. It was a dollar fifty-five for gas last year when Trump was in office. We were energy independent. We didn't have to ask anybody for oil. Now it's six dollars for premium, and they say it's a five percent increase. I, by my math. That's a 300% increase on premium alone. I got two cars that take premium. Thanks, Alan. The, uh, yeah, that, and I know I was spending, I normally go <clears throat> the Sam's Club uh, the Friday before every KVK. I'm where it's cheap, Jen. Well, food's not cheap. Gas not cheap here, but, you know, I drive to Texas on a regular basis, and I wait to fill up in Texas because it's $1.30 a gallon cheaper. That's still double. So it's not 300% up for you, and that's on regular. Fuel-efficient cars use premium. If you buy a car and you uh, avoid that flex fuel sticker on the bumper for Chevy and Ford, and I don't even know if Dodge has flex fuel. Dodge just gets crappy gas miles no matter what. The uh, But if you avoid that flex fuel sticker and fill up with premium, the engine has a device to know you're using premium. It advances the timing, and your full-size pickup gets 28 to 31 miles per gallon. You pay less per mile using premium even though you pay more per gallon. Have been fighting from day one. Applying. You gave him applying? I'm, I don't understand what you're saying there, Clarence. A nap. Oh. There's the problem with that 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 Guns of Glory sees. I I I suspected it, we had it in ours. Uh, we didn't have a nap. We had cowering. Uh, I think uh, this, there wasn't but six of us that I think have engaged.
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, you, you buy local, you buy your oil as local as you can get it, right? It's just so, because, you it, you know, co it, there's a transportation cost for moving the oil that adds to the price per barrel. You know, you're hearing that oil is $70 a barrel right now on the news. That's what they report. Well, last year, oil in Texas was $9 a barrel. Oh, the video that's going to pop next Tuesday, I'm going to preempt this now on the live, where I said, you know, what they always wind up doing is dragging these oil company execs up there and blaming them. Says, why is the price of oil so expensive when the U.S. only controls 3% of the world market for oil? And every time the Democrats get in office and implement their plans and the price of fuel goes through the roof and their constituents, because guess what? Democrat voters don't want $6 gallon gas either. The, uh, they may want an electric car, but let's face the reality that the very first thing that happened in January of this year was the price of electricity doubled in almost every state. Fuel cost surge plus a fuel cost surge. Well, it's a 5% loss. <coughs> so, as I was saying in one of the, the Discord videos that I put in there, you're going to be able to form a team that during an Uncharted Seas event, it's like, okay, we're going to take some bridges and stuff and a lot of towers, and we're going to do it Tuesday. You know, you don't have to do it 3 a.m. on a Saturday. Once you build up a kingdom where you've got, say, uh, American workers inside, let's say, uh, let's say the, uh, the, the daytime American workers come to 592, right? Well, or even the night shift American workers come to 592 instead of playing in and overseas things. Then you got 24 seven, but like I said, you're, you don't have only a language barrier problem. Uh, you don't have the, but I like my free stuff, screw you guys, socialist problem, which is what you get from other countries. These people aren't knowingly, you know, anti-human. They just have never been born with the right to own something. And they look at Americans as if we, we, we're, we're egotistic in the fact that I built it, I bought it, it's mine. The, uh, and there's nobody more like that than me. How do you lose a billion in power from true loss? So 5%. Was he zeroed beyond? I don't understand how you do that. That's got to be a glitch. Did he lose it through the course of the entire event and never replaced his troops? I'm up power after at the end of this event, and I haven't spent any money. Okay, Jim, now, during the, we didn't do it in our kingdom, so you get ahead on the research, the alliance research, and the number of members, the number of players that can join your alliance went up during the test round. You got all the way up to 160-man alliances. So once you took a bridge and you were ahead, the other alliances were supposed to collapse upon you. That doesn't happen. R5s, no show R5s, and we've got a bunch of them in 592. No show R5s. I'm going to stay in power. I'm not sending my people over. I'm not helping them. There you go. Uh, after we got so far behind that I, I said, there's no way we can catch up now. We could have we could have contended with 591. We would have wound up teaching 591 some things that while they had more power than we did, uh, if, if, We'd have fought with any coordination. We could have done it, but they're not. They're not fighting with me over there. The only the only five nine one fight we're having right now is one on one with me. The uh, the other guys that are trying to muster stuff up so that it appears like they're trying for, to their alliance, 
they don't know what they're doing. Uh, Wonky knows what he's doing, kind of, but Wonky plays the diplomat game way too much. He 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 wants to trade favors and be friends and and this is one of these things where I had guys like him underneath me because okay Wonky go talk to him but it was a build up of ego and power for him too the uh, I can't all I wanted to do was sit back and and you know look to what's going to happen next month what's happening today in a fight typically is last month's failures. What we didn't teach, what we what we don't know, what's not going on. And I, I never put that on the R4s, R5s. You know, I, I never once walked in there and said, you guys suck, we keep losing these events. Cause, well, one, we rarely lost events. But even when we were winning events, we weren't winning them efficiently. And, you know, I, I probably seemed like I was pushing harder than I should have been. But I got spoiled in 362. Uh, Kingdom 362, the 50 guys that I had in 362, when we built the very first project before I had a, a huge troll following, I got my team together before the trolls got their shit together. The, uh, and they were never able to weasel in and break things down the way that happened there. The, uh, but we also didn't have new players, random from the YouTube, coming in, joining 592, getting zeroed every day. Now, during the merger, that's not going to happen, right? And then there's a I, – I guarantee there's a bunch of people who know that in the alliance that I'm in, they wind up with free memberships over at Rogers Raiders so that their firewalls are up to snuff and that my alliance is ready to fight. The, uh, I'm sure people are thinking that way. Yeah, you can't spin that. When is Honor reset? Is that a reset at 5 today? The store. <laughs> yeah, watch that. Uh man, in that other video that's in that that we're that, that's dropping, I explained that. That one of the reasons we that where I got built up as a YouTuber was simple tactics in KVK that worked. Uh, issued me a challenge on the leaderboard. Well, you're playing with emotion there, Clarence. We get we got to get we got to get you a group on the uh for some for some uh see the psychiatrist down at the mall there boss he's a he's a sponsor and I'm bagging on him <laughs> yeah uh questions that I've seen that I don't have an answer to will we get to keep our research uh I would have to say yes uh restarting that research would piss everybody off uh and the reason i'm going to say yes things like your parrot trinket allow you to farm food faster how many people have figured out drop the food farm for events where you got to earn points for for gathering for your alliance yet and put your parrot on use your two guards your uh Henry and uh, I can't remember, Meatloaf. I can't ever remember his real name. Uh, the purple guy, that blonde hair, big stocky guy. Those things add. Actually, I don't know if they still add to your gathering speed. Again, rumor, Jen, they charged you for those. They sold them in a store. Yeah, Jen, they, they, they sold you they sold you fragments and the ability to get fragments in a store. Plachette. That's the one, yeah. Does does Vabon have a, a a gathering bonus? 
I don't even have him. That card has never dropped for me. Jason, what's up? What are you sorry about? 5%. Okay. Yeah, Henry has a 5%. Okay, so they still have the 5%. They changed a lot of stuff. So, so now, uh, like I had stopped leveling guards past 70 because there was no bonus to it. Now there's a bonus to it. Now you get March Cap bonus out of it where you didn't before. Uh-oh. Hold on here a second. Hello. What's going on?
little point go over there? Ask them if they would teach you about the Great Road so that you could just stay at the top of that road. Is it really? Send me a text or something, and I'll get it uh, taped off. Which point you make a couple days on it. All right, guys. Sorry about that. You want to hear what's going on with my mom? All right. So my mom has been losing blood through her intestines for a while now. And nobody can figure out why. So we went over to a specialist in Texas. And uh, they said, okay, here's what we need to do. And then they, they sent her back to New Mexico, the land of the liberals, to where they pay people so poorly around here. If you are a doctor in the state of New Mexico, every doctor I've ever met has told me, I shouldn't be here. I should be at some more prestigious thing. It is such an ego thing where you work that if you're working in New Mexico, Everybody knows you kind of suck as a doctor. So they brought her back over here. And apparently when they faxed over what needed to be done for surgery with my mom, 
the lady didn't look at the cover sheet. They mixed up the records with somebody else's records. And they went in and they cut about two feet of my mom's intestine out. And then, they, you know, and my mom's telling me, like, well, they keep telling me they can't find the holes and they're going to keep looking. And But they don't understand. They took out what they were supposed to. And, it, you know, it, it's still I'm still in pain. I still hurt. I'm still bleeding. They did the wrong surgery. Uh, and my mom has had the worst luck over here. We call this the triangle of death down here because uh, what people see on the news for healthcare and what reality of healthcare is, not even close to the same thing. The uh, Your local contractor, the guy who builds walls and concrete and builds hospitals, right? That's what you keep raising money for is for him to have a job. Uh, when you do a bond issue in your town or your county, the sales tax on a candy bar goes to pay for the one-time cost. The reason that bond never goes away is those costs never go away. They're always adding to the hospital, expanding the wings, redecorating with the most extravagant redecorations ever, right? That way they keep renewing the bond, which is technically illegal. And every single county and every city does it. Once you get a bond pass, it is almost impossible to make that sales tax go down. That every everybody, and I'll tell you this uh, school board thing, it's gonna have start, people start looking at their city councils. Because the problem with the school boards right now is people are paying attention to what their school board's saying because they never gave a shit before. So I'm gonna go back here. Uh, so anyway, I was saying uh, about the uh, gathering talent. Yeah, get your daily done, Clarence. The uh, that's yes, guard stats still work. Uh, yes, you can increase the guard stats. Uh, you can increase. Yeah, the, the guards get more powerful as the level of the guard goes up. Yeah, because uh, the things that people didn't understand was that strength and, you know, th those those five things where we used to we manipulate in speed. We did that all by thing. Now they're fixed. Uh, so you can't adjust them anymore. They go up with level of the guard. So your guards just basically you got to max your guards out to be in the game. Uh, and then stars add damage, right? Damage being the king number. Yeah, every one of my guys. I, I my my glasses are green, so you're seeing through my head on my green screen. Different streaming room chat there. Uh yeah. So they got to drive my mom over to Lubbock to correct the surgery that was improperly done. Uh and that's three hours each direction. Yeah. That's the beauty of the Discord room there, Anthony. Come in and ask those questions. Man, there are too many people quick with an answer, but they're quick with what they heard somewhere else. Uh, I'm not afraid to tell you I don't know. Uh, the reason I don't know is because I hadn't tested I hadn't looked at it directly, and I don't take things at face value from because it's never right when I take it from GOG directly. Nothing GOG has ever put out has ever been a benefit to me informing you the uh the uh, like we we don't know how often you're going to be able to do it uh i don't see a reason to limit it the only reason to put a limit on the transfers in the minds of the developers is a false reason the uh well, it would be unfair to have big castles moving around. Not if you're charging money for it, it wouldn't. The, uh, it may seem unfair to people where a big castle comes in the kingdom and starts zeroing everybody. Uh, but believe it or not, that's not going to happen. At, at that point, the mechanism they got put in there, the uh, 
better have some, you know, the ability to vote and reject somebody out of the kingdom. You can't stack a guard stack anymore. What do you mean by when you say, what, what are you saying there? Stack a guard stat. Ah. Oh, I got it. Okay, gotcha. Uh, what he's saying there is a, uh, because we can't hand manipulate them, I used to crank the speed up. <laughs> uh, and when I'd run around, and because I would, I, you know, it, that, I told everybody what how they work, but I didn't tell everybody, you know, that was actually coming in the tool that I had to put on pause because you can't adjust that no more. That was built into the tool. And so for a long time, and this is where Guns of Glory un unfortunately cheats a little bit, where they watch what I do, they look at my account, and then they countermand what I'm doing because I'm the best test platform they've ever had. Uh, if, there, if something's not going to work as intended, the... Uh, you know, you got to remember their their political mindset is communism. Everything is equal. That's not a game. Somebody's got to win. We're not being, you know, uh, the 2,000 wood trophy sucks. So I don't want my participation trophies. Uh, I F I foot S what? If I don't know what you're saying there, Anthony. Man, I didn't bring my water out. I don't have my cup out here to pour water out of a jug. How long have I been going? And then I bored you guys on the phone with my mom information. The, uh, it's been a rough couple months for me with, with the hospital. First, first, I was in ICU for a week. Then my dad gets cancer, gets skin cancer. That was growing so fast, we thought it was a bug bite. It, it was on his nose, right up here, where there's, there's major blood vessels up here. And my dad's a very, very smart man. So when he saw, when they, when they, he went in, he, he waited like, oh, I got an upcoming appointment. So he waited like nine days to let the doctor go tell him. I was like, well, hell, if it's a brown recluse, you need to get it cut off to keep it from spreading. That's what I thought it was when I looked at it. I've, I've had some brown recluse bites. Hell, I offered to cut it out for him. I said, I'll, I'll cut that off for you. I know my dad will sit still while I cut on him. Done it before. It's like, no, 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 I'll let the doctor do it. Get in there, it comes back, it comes back cancer, skin cancer. And it is growing fast. I mean, I mean, I mean his, within weeks, his eyes had sunk it in. And I mean, it, it was going, it was going fast. Uh, it was so bad. I mean, we were spending days getting the legal shit done that we kind of let slide over the last five or six years. Uh, we didn't know if he was going to be alive in six weeks. And uh, they gave him a matter of fact, this was two months ago, his surgery, the VA scheduled his surgery for this month. Actually, it wouldn't even been done yet. It'd been, well, pro pro October 10th would have been surgery. Meanwhile, in five days, his face was sinking in from this stuff. Uh, I stepped in there and uh, got him over in a cancer clinic uh, in, in Lubbock. And they cut that thing out in one day. And he went back for the checkup and says, oh, we got it all. And now you can't even tell he ever had skin cancer. But skin cancer moves so stinking fast. My wife had skin cancer. Uh, she got it while on active duty in Afghanistan. She and, and hers got so bad, they wound up cutting off a piece of her earlobe and slicing down her neck because that cancer had gone down the vein. And then they had to pack her face open for like eight weeks to see if the cancer was growing back there. And then she's been cancer free for six years now. Uh, but they know now on skin cancer, 
things they didn't know 10 years ago. And it's not any new drugs or trials, but you got to cut it out completely. If you leave any bit of it, you wind up with an infection in the brain and it kills you pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, Bill. I have a year's body of work with 592 advertised on it. My entire goal is to put out informational videos. Uh, I don't know that I want to play the way I would have wanted to play six months ago. Six months ago, you'd offer me this deal. I'd probably be in one of the three big kingdoms, showing up every Saturday, happy as a clam, completely doing something different. But now I don't want to. Uh, the time frame that this is happening, I got all my charity stuff I got to do. Uh, it's bit we're busy. We, the guy we had running the VFW charity, uh, got us four days from the IRS shutting us down because he didn't do his job. The uh, to run a charity in this country, you're you're constantly at odds with whether or not they think that charity is good for the political party of power. So when you own a veterans charity, 94% of veterans vote Republican. Veterans charities are over scrutinized. The, uh, they, you can't have people gathering and talking and communicating with each other when they don't agree with you politically. The, uh, I mean, Lois, Lois, whatever her name was from the IRS, they got caught suppressing 300 charities, asking for their members list and all their members' phone numbers. I'm like, what's that got to do with me putting money in the bank? That's all the IRS's job is to know that I put the money in the bank and file the right paperwork on putting the money in the bank. Yeah, the, uh. I, I think it's more likely that, that if this mer if this transfer thing lasts for an extended period of time, you know, look, it's kind of what I asked for, right? So let's take this in reverse. So like uh, Patton turned around saying, oh, the new kingdoms won't have it. Well, they may not have it going da uh, down or up, whichever way you want to say it, where... I can't move my kingdom to kingdom 800, my castle to kingdom 800. But that doesn't mean there's not a mechanism that after you do your first KVK, you get a transfer bonus in the 50% event. You can buy one with, with for free, right? And go to another kingdom. Well, that's where a lot of people keep trying to approach me from these these high volume high well known kingdoms trying to get me in the kingdom is because I'm good advertising for a kingdom like that, right? Whatever kingdom I'm playing in, and I'm talking about, people are going to gravitate towards. Uh, the I suspected over a year ago that this was going to have to happen from what I saw on the decline process from the guard update of 2020. The, uh, so everything I've done has been getting up to this point. Until it actually happens, there's nothing I can do for the next step. We're waiting for the next steps, right? The, uh, I need I need guns of glory to pull the trigger, get it done, and then I can do what I'm going to do next. I've, I've already known what I'm going to do for a year. It shouldn't have took a year to get to this point. I The uh, kingdom versus kingdom mergers was always a bad idea. It has, and I... I made sure I pointed that out by referencing every other game that ever tried it and failed, lost their market completely. Having people move one, two, three, four, five at a time and on their own fruition, World of Warcraft does it, right? $25, I can move to another server and another kingdom and another time zone, 25 bucks. I don't have to keep playing with these people. If the server has 
developed into something that uh, doesn't work for me or my time frame has changed, I can move. Uh, that's a good mechanism World of Warcraft has. Well, the time limit between transfers is one of them. But yeah, you're going to get people who have joined new kingdoms, built new castles, and spent a bunch of money, and then they're like, well, my kingdom's not ready yet. And they're going to spend another $25 and go to some place that is ready. And probably without thinking, I'm going to be the bottom of that totem pole in that kingdom. Because you go build a brand new C40 in Kingdom 800 or whatever's new, newest kingdom is. Ah, you you guys know my C, C31s in my kingdom are going to eat your lunch. Uh, there's a lot of damage. There's a lot of stuff you can't do in the store. It is only done with time. But see, this is a good thing. So instead of being on the top of their kingdom and everybody going, oh, man, go hit him. You're the big guy, which is what they did in 592 when I was overspending, right? I'm like, guys, this doesn't work this way. I need six tower leaders. I need six tower leaders who know what 15 people are going to be in their tower. We have never achieved that in 592. What we should have been doing in our second KVK has never been done. So when 591 is sitting there talking about, well, there's no teamwork. No, there's not. Because any effort to apply teamwork has been undermanded by the very things 591 was saying, which was repeating from the MFA Troll Alliance and the people that are in both kingdoms, 591 and 592. If they don't know it, there's both king players in both kingdoms. Uh, the, oh, they hate you. They hate this. Really? Why? The, uh, you know, it, it, during the uh, Uncharted Seeds event, I was pleasant to the point where they were unpleasant with 591. I didn't go in there bullshit, never chit chat, never any of this other shit. The, uh, you know, you want to yell, scream, and then get your, your other little butt nugget buddies who have no ability to challenge me. Look, you want to challenge me, then, hey, we can do it in the game. Tell me where, we'll go meet. Uh, or shut up. Use some, it's a public forum. Use some manners. But they're from another, a third world country. You know, there's nothing like a, a, a Pakistani guy or a guy from Afghanistan telling me how much I abuse women. But it's the, the left wokest speak that's allowed in this, in, in, in the United States right now says if they use those words I'm supposed to back down oh yeah you go you you challenge their ego in that fashion and he will become the girl that we you know that we want him to be I don't okay I'm glad you brought that up okay so we got a form over there castles for sale uh, I, I will have to do a separated video that I put up in that area do not buy any castle that has king groups locked on it okay they can take it back anytime they want to the uh if somebody has turned around and put king and, and, and locked their castle with king's group at one point in time that castle is theirs forever no matter if you transferred it with google or facebook or whatever you did they will just steal the castle back so don't do that uh, and there's a lot of dead castles out there that are big. Uh, hell, I got two C40s laying around. The, uh, no one knows about. The, uh, but. I, because I can't afford the, uh, rule breaking ban. The, uh, by breaking the rules in game. I can talk about the rules all I want on YouTube, but. You know, the, the, this is breaking the game violations, and I just don't do it in-game. Uh, I know that when I started talking about buying RSS from the black market uh, developers, I, the next week, started getting stories 
in my uh, YouTube channel. I bought RSS from a black market guy and, and Guns of Glory banned my account. Ain't ever happened to me. <laughs> For what did they ban your account? Uh, if you hit a castle and take its RSS, that's a legal game mechanism that's built into the game. How that castle got there is their problem. So, I pretty much suspect that the people who got banned for buying RSS from black market guys didn't happen. That's just the marketing company saying, no, 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 we want it through the front door that we can account for our growth. Because most marketing teams get paid on growth. So, if you're not buying RSS through the storefront, then the marketing team ain't making as much money as they think they're making the game grow, which they're not making the game grow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks, man. I get billions of food. Hey, where that castle comes from, that's Guns of Glory's problem. You want to ban the castle that I hit? Fine. Because it got there illegally somehow? I got no problem with it. Matter of fact, I kind of told you what, Three years ago, Marshall, uh, you know, this shit needs to stop. The uh, They needed to adjust their prices on packs. And they have, I've readdressed the issue every six, seven months. And each time they've made some readdress to the price of the storefront. Matter of fact, they've addressed the price in the storefront that I do buy RSS packs out of the store now. I make sure I have enough stored food uh, for, uh, recovery. Yeah. Oh, think about that for these merger things, right? I still have maxed out catacomb farms in Kingdom 362. The, uh, I gave my 362C40 away. Maybe I can get her to give it back. At least that one had the catacombs done. I had full damage on that castle. I think the packs being upside down have been that way. Somebody read an internal note wrong when they first launched the game. Where the more you buy, the less you get. That's what we mean by packs upside down. Uh, that <laughs> it's the only game in the in, that that's that is that way, right? They've never addressed or fixed that problem. The uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons I quit building farms was I wasn't getting any real work done. Oh. Uh, <sighs> Yawn and on film. Make everybody else yawn, fall asleep. Look at that. Drop four four users on that yawn alone. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, hate to say this, but I'm going to have to cut this in stream. I do got some stuff that I got to get prepared for for tomorrow. Uh, I, it looks like we will deal with my mom on Tuesday. And uh, thank you, everybody that Yeah, every game's based in China. I I don't think I don't, I've got a single game that I'm playing right now that's not based in China, but I've got a lot of games that I'm not spending any money on, and I'm way ahead. In the, the Discord server there, let me put that up one last time here. Hold on. A little, little self-promotion here. Got to pay the bills! All right, so... Are you in the Discord server here? Or are you hiding under a the name, Marshall? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some... I'm going to have to get Tuesday's works done so that we can... Because Tuesday I will be driving my mom and my dad. Or at least keep them company. My dad usually drives. He can see. I can't.
Well, you do now. Click the button. The uh, all kinds of people gone in there and boosted it. I got to go in there and make sure that all your boosts are applied. The uh, I'm I'm not one thing about that Discord channel. I will not be handing out power to boot and other things to other people. I will either administer that that Discord channel or I will turn it off. But I will not be letting third-party people have any control or power there. Yeah. Uh, that's gone. Where they had the... Yeah, they had a bug. That was well, not bug. They were latching onto the CPUs in a bootloader and monitoring all communication via Discord. I, they've got a new Windows Discord app. So if you download it through the Windows Store onto your computer so that you can use it on your Windows computer, uh, that fixes that problem. Yeah, my mom, not a healthy person. I mean, she's she's on a, she's not even a, she, she's not a, she's, She's shrinking. The uh, <laughs> she wasn't that tall to begin with. The uh, but the, you know, she's not overweight, but she's on a damn donut diet, which is probably ninety nine percent of her pain in her stomach. The uh, and but I know that switching diet over to keto, like I did, uh, that that's a lot of willpower. The body doesn't stop craving carbs. Yeah, it's it's a little different than it was. I wouldn't use it for, uh, while well, you got voice comm capability there, I wouldn't use it for that still. TeamSpeak's still the best thing for that. That's something that we have in 592 that other kingdoms don't have, but we'll have. Uh, TeamSpeak's about to be free for everybody. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, where I have to pay for my private TeamSpeak server. Uh, TeamSpeak stopped issuing out the software. Uh, I was going to put TeamSpeak servers on the Rogers Raiders so that all the kingdoms could have their TeamSpeak servers, right? I was going to use my hardware equipment so that you could get a low-cost TeamSpeak server. That way we could get better KVK strategies going. And uh, all that stuff blew up my face. I mean, I put four months into that, bought hardware. You guys remember last year, I, I bought $16,000 servers last year to handle a voice comm load for an entire game. And then they didn't issue the, the, the server level software I can't get anymore. Uh, they are using cloud services to do what they want to. I will tell you guys on the crypto things, I'm, I'm not, not ready to demonstrate it yet, but we are about to put one of the first videos ever into crypto wallets so that you can download videos into your crypto wallet and it's decentralized so that whoever you're listening to, if you like to listen to controversial podcast people, we got to go, well, I can't say this on YouTube, but you know what I'm talking about when I use the word Divock. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to do this. Hold on. I know I said I was leaving. All right. So there's Divock, right? Uh, the Democrats imaginary virus oppression control. The, uh, that's what, the <laughs> oh, I'm slaughtering that word. <laughs> there we go. The Democrat imaginary virus uh, oppression is control. So, yeah. Man, I was looking at the numbers on, on that stuff this morning. Uh, for the last 20 years, 1,700 people have died from symptoms of the flu shot. The mandated shot that doesn't work, according to the people that are giving it to you, 
you still get it, you still spread it, it just doesn't work. We're at 72,000 people have died within the first 48 hours of taking that shot. So yeah, that's in the last 10 months. Uh, in the year 2020, uh, people going to hospitals for the flu was like 38 million. Last year for the flu, 1.5 million. Uh, it would be easy to say, oh, that's because we were avoiding other viruses, and that may be true. We wrapped our kids with masks and let not let them wa put their fingers up their nose and on everything else we touch. You know, we know who the little freaking carrier monkeys are. They're your curtain climbers. Yeah. But making them wear a snotty rag all day long isn't helping that situation. It just means that more diseases form on that thing that then goes home. <laughs> Right? And then that kid rubs it all over the kitchen counters and the couch and everything else. It's worse. That one place that there should not be that type of control of the school just for scientific reasons uh, and human reasons. It becomes a bacteria breeding ground. We did. We just did the whole... You're going to have to watch that back, Spectre. We did a whole stuff on it. There is no migrations. There, it's going to be one-on-ones. Uh, let go back through there, guys, and 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 pull that stuff out. Uh, remember, you can right-click, copy, with a timestamp, out of this video. So if you're trying to make a particular point, post the video with a time with the time on the end of it, so that they don't have to go through the whole hour of my bullshit because not everybody appreciates it. Uh, look, I. I yeah, I gotta go too. I gotta get stuff ready. I'm getting a headache now. The uh, but I thought because I saw other YouTubers getting ready to take on market because they know I'm trying to step back. This this method that I saw today didn't work out for the last four guys who tried it. Just fair warning to the other YouTubers. You you still need to cooperate with me. Yeah, the uh. The, uh I want you guys doing this stuff, but you're not gonna you're not gonna get to brag about the hostile takeover you did. It doesn't.